quickly. All right, Arnold Schwarzenegger, Homer Simpson, and Tom Cruise. The one thing they all have in common is my next guest. Please welcome Ben Stiller, everybody. Oh, Ben Stiller, huh? Oh, was it like <laughs> Ben, which, oh, little, you know, got the Ben right, but, I'm sorry, oh, a little wrong, bit of comedy. Wrong Ben, wrong Ben, oh, but that yeah. was really, really good. Oh. Ben Price, comedian and impersonator, <laughs> is here. Welcome, and I hear this is actually your first time outside of the Dallas airport. In it Dallas, is, Texas. yes, it is great to be here. So Thank you so much. Welcome. How y'all doing? It's good. Very nice. Was that all right? Yeah. yeah. It was a little bit too much of an emphasis. It just a little bit too to much there. How, how y'all doing? How y'all doing? Yeah, they're nice and smooth. Just, that's nice. Hey, you were very, very good. How did you discover that you were very good at imitating people's voices? Oh, I, I watched a lot of TV when I was a kid and a lot of movies, and I think a lot of people do, but for some reason I just pick it up and I just I see something and I go, I can do that voice, and I'll just start doing. I'll come out of a movie and I'll like watch Tom Cruise, and I just come out of the movies and I'm like, I'm like this. <laughs> I'm the guy. I'm the guy. I start talking like this. This it just happens. So. Yeah, I appreciate that. Yeah. I, I, I want more friends like that. Actually, I don't think I have any friends that just do you, that. So you have one now. Yeah, friend. there you go. That's, well, you know, I, I did some research. Very, very good, especially yeah. at male voices. Have you ever tried girl impersonations? Uh, you know, I used to do Marge Simpson. So, so I used to sound a little bit like this, homie. Oh my goodness, it's one of those kind of voices. <laughs> homie, I'm gonna do the ice bucket challenge. Don't Marge, I drank all the ice in the bucket. You know, <laughs> I put them together, so. But I do a little bit of the girl. I think women are really good at uh, ventriloquism. Okay. I've found my wife does that. She's like, you oh, know, really? most women we go out, they'll, you'll see them like, look what she's wearing. Check out the shoes. Uh, what, what was she thinking? <laughs> they all I do see it. What yeah, you see what I'm saying? That's funny. Yes, I've been, I'm pretty good at that also. You can do that. Can yeah. You see her shoes. See she that? Has yeah. Like, yeah. Very good. You, well, you actually, you're very good at, at American accents. But what would you say is the most difficult to accomplish? Yeah, I don't try to do an American accent as such. I just try to do the, the voice, but like I could do like California, it's like right on, gotcha. And I could, well, if I say y'all, but I don't get the little nuances between different states. So I just try to sort of stick to the, the voice. So, yeah, if it's like Matthew McConaughey, he's like, all right, all right, all right, all right. So I don't think about where it's from or anything. I just do the voice, you know what I'm saying? That's something. Yeah, yeah. well, you don't really know what you're doing there because you are like hitting all different types of like parts of the country here. And you I don't know even where. I've it. never been there. And it's like I'm just <laughs> doing them. Surprise. Yeah. Well, speaking of, we're going to talk about our own country here, Texas. I hear you're very good. Uh, I heard Matthew McConaughey, but what yeah. about Owen Wilson? What do you think he would say about the bachelorette, Rachel Lindsay? Oh, yeah, I saw her. Wow, she's great. Yeah, I mean, I heard she's she's getting married, right? Wow, I mean, we have to do Wedding Crashers too now, just so I can, it's gonna be a reality show. Wow. That is great. Okay, how about this? Dr. Phil, what kind of advice do you think, if she might be watching right now, she could advice be. Advice to her on her final choice. Well, if you're watching, Rachel, I gotta say, I mean, what were you thinking? There's a lot of guys out there, there some of them are crazy than a run over dog, and some of them are slower than molasses going backward up a hill. You picked a good one. Uh, some of the folks are so ugly, even the tide wouldn't take them out. <laughs> Get real. My favorite is that I can see the face also, and I'm sure that actually helps you like, I've done channel that before. the voice. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it does. Yeah, you've got to get all the expressions, and he, he's a big guy, so he, you know, kind of fits my build, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're gonna put you to the test. Colby's gonna bring over a bowl here, and all right. it's full of names. Hopefully, oh. you know all of them. Thank you, Colby. So don't look, draw, and give I'm it a shot. I'm picking them out. Uh -huh. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's like a pageant. What have I won? What's your answer to question? I got Tom Cruise. We'll do it again. Okay, well, you got to give me of that. I'll pick Tom it Tom Cruise, this time. with here me go. here, without me here. Well, you got Sylvester Stallone here. This is a good one. Yeah, I just did Rambo 5. It's a musical, so I can sing Rambo number 5. You know what I'm I, saying? I love this. Okay, right. another one. Very good. Very uh, you clever. got George, George W. Bush. That's a great one. He's from Texas. Yeah, man. He's great. I love George W. We got to fix the economy. We got to economify things. We're going to fix this His KFC. Wife might be watching, but she approved. Homer Simpson. Over time. Somebody give it the number. For 911. <laughs> uh, oh, Sean Connolly is another ladies' man. Yes, I, a book hit my head this morning. I can only blame <laughs> myself. What can I say? Here you uh, are. How about, uh, let, mm. Let's change the topic into what you like about Dallas so far. James Earl Jones. I love Dallas. Uh, I love the Cowboys. I, I feel like That's almost need to be like a um, Darth Vader and have that oh, kind of. Uh, well, you got, well, this is a similar voice. Morgan Freeman. There we go. Dallas is beautiful, and uh, the scenery, just even here in the studio, is very nice. You ready for the last one? Uh, oh, Prince Charles, yes, Prince Charles, yes, of course. Uh, uh, I'm all ears, so whatever you ask me, yes, it's very much all ears. Wow, so impressed, so impressed. Okay, and I also hear that you do a very good Donald Trump, Barack Obama. Give me a little clip of maybe a phone conversation between the two. Okay, well, you could have... Uh, 
Uh, Donald, uh, I left a couple things at the White House. Uh, you did, you left a few things at the White House, and it's okay, we found those tapes. We did, we found all the cameras, and you don't need to come and get them back, it's all good. And you know, you saw what I did to the mooch? I said, you're fired. You gotta be very careful. You're fired. You're fired. <laughs> it's so impressive how you can go from voice to voice. <laughs> I know you've had a lot of practice, but you're also, let me, quickly, let's uh, talk about a project you're working on. It's called Pilgrim's Progress. What is that about? Yeah, there's a book called Pilgrim's Progress. It's a, it's a classic Christian uh, book, uh, second to the Bible, and they've, they've, do, they've done movies about it. They had, the first movie that was Liam Neeson, uh, Liam Neeson's another one there. He was one of the voices in it. So, but I'll be That's providing a few voices in this. So there'll be sort of very English type of voices, and because it's set in England, it's going to be very exciting. It's going to be 3D animated movie. So. Um, off to record some of those while I'm here in Dallas. It's going to be a lot of fun. Oh, we are so happy to have you. What a way to kick off our Tuesday. I wish we could get to all of them. We can't, but, oh. but great job. Um, I'll make sure so that I'll be back. Very there. nice. <laughs> That's good. Work on that y'all, okay? Y'all. Y'all. <laughs> that doesn't sound right with him, but yeah. Uh, yeah no, not with him, not with him, but, but that was very good. Welcome to Texas. We're happy Thank to have you. you. Go have some barbecue. Ben Price oh, well. is off to Missouri for his next show. show, so you can check out his website for more on Ben and his really cool voices. It's benpricecomedy.com for all of his shows and bookings.